Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm gonna do some posters and just a few little things. I'll quickly, briefly show you what I'm gonna do. Try to go as quickly as possible. Sort of like an ink. I'm gonna put some alcohol ink. It's a candle holder. And then I'm gonna make some posters. And then like one of these little pendant things you can put on a necklace, okay? So I have so many of them, it would take me a long time to show you all. But you can go down on the videos and look at other of my other videos of making those. So we're gonna get started here. I'm using stone coat art resin. And um, there is a $10 coupon code in my description um, towards a $95 purchase which I always take advantage of they're always good to use so we'll get started I'm using um, some colored I went ahead and used acrylic ink and I'm using sapphire 24k I have lots of dried flowers okay so I'll show everything up to the camera as I'm doing it but I will be fast forwarding through this okay so we'll try to bring the camera down and get started because I think I prepared for too much <laughs> at one time here there we go that's good. So yeah, just mix part half and half. One half of the resin and one half of the hardener. And uh, that's about it. So I uh, hope you enjoy the video.
Okay, so let's see how these babies turned out. They are curious about the resin ones. Because I've seen some people do them and they were like, uh, like cloudy, you know, on the bottom, but pretty on the top. But really, they're supposed to be turned around. But we'll, we'll show, I'll show you that. So I'll just show you some of my favorites that I am planning on selling eventually. So I really dig these. This was an acrylic ink, and I'll go quickly because I know we already took a long time. So the bottoms always look, you know, not so cool. But when you take off from the acrylic paint, they come out really cool. Dig that one. Of course, the coffee beans always come out looking good. <laughs> this is one of my other favorites. Beer cans. <laughs> For someone who drinks beer, Whether your husband watching the football game. This one I'd really dig. This was a big, huge, uh, yeah, what do they call them? Starfish. But I'm gonna see, it's kind of up here. See it? Can't see it. So it kind of wobbles a little when it sits down, but I'm gonna put some more resin on the top of this tape it off you know then this was a little dining wear set I did can't take too long here though and then, these are always my favorite the ocean ones so I did this jar hopefully ours are going to turn out cool the ones I did with the alcohol ink even though I didn't do it the way I planned it again but I will try that next time. I'll bet it's really cool. Layering the alcohol ink. Completely forgot. <laughs> One of my ashtrays. Which is so pretty. I can't see anybody using it. <laughs> this one I just love. Candle thingy. Another one of my favorites. Kind of hard to see when you like this. I love this one too. This one was like fire looking. Candle. Oh, there's too many to go through. I have to hurry up. So the small ones, I realized I'm not going to make those too much anymore. Because if you got like a big mug, they don't fit right on there. This one, the Coca-Cola ones. You know, unless you have like a coffee mug with a stand. I love this one. Love this one too. Oh, one of my favorites. So, oh my gosh, there's so many. I didn't want to do this, but I'll, I'll show you guys my favorites. And, okay, and I have a whole bunch of these in my bedroom, too. This had little shells. Little rose buds. This was the real dried flowers. Was another rosebud. I actually think I'm getting a clear picture today. A puzzle piece. I wear this when I'm feeling puzzled, which is all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh, I shouldn't have started this. Well, okay, let's hurry up. That had alcohol ink in it. It's really cool in person, but it's really hard to see because I can see it's dripping down there. A rose petal. This is one of my favorites. I forgot to put the posts on the back of these for the earrings. And the pendant. I forgot to put that in there. Which I still can. This one I did with 
seashells. And this one, I was surprised that the starfish even fit in the little mold. Pretty cool. Okay, and then I'm doing the earrings too. So I've showed people these before. But to all you new subscribers, so you don't have to go back and look at all the videos. But I will post them in the description. These I really love because I like the amber. Just beautiful. I love these. I love these too. The dark burgundy. So pretty. The stars. Okay, so let's get to it. That took forever. I knew it would. Hate to even see how long that took. Five minutes of my video. Okay, so this I'm really... Like, I've seen people do this before. And remember, this is going to be the bottom. And the top always comes out looking good, but the bottom looks foggy. For some reason, when you use an acrylic, you know, the acrylic ink mixed in your resin, it doesn't come out. Let's check it out. Whoa! Wait a minute here. That is super cool. Dude, that is super awesome looking. What a trip. So it doesn't have all the colors. A little bit of gold in there. That's a trip. Coffee bean. <laughs> I like these. It's funny because now when every time in the morning I drink my coffee, I have to have my coffee. Oh, it's nice and clear too. No bubbles. Awesome. Pretty cool. When you when you torch these, it's funny when you do the heat gun to get the bubbles out, you get this smell of roasted coffee. <laughs> So let's check out the alcohol ink one. Ooh, there, that's cool. Oh, that was cool, man. Hey, that one turned out good. That beautiful colors in that one. That's cool, man. I think they're always so hard to get out. Uh, I'm gonna have to fast forward through this one. Oh, maybe I put too much. Maybe I pushed it down too much. I kind of felt I did a little bit. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's got some color in it. What's this? Oh. That turned out pretty good. Purple. Good. <laughs> Let's see, I put, I put turquoise and magenta. And I got the same, almost as this one. But it's pretty neat. Not bad. But I'm gonna try it the other way next time. Okay, so this could take me a few minutes. These you have to. I don't know why I'm getting it. So the flowers, of course, roll upward. Oh, they came out good. Okay, so then I'll just screw one of those corks in there. That's pretty neat. I had corks. The little pendant hook. Hey, that one turned out good. That's pretty. 
I like that one. Yellow and pink. Okay, here goes another one. It's a little bit particles. So there's some of these little molds that are really hard to get out. And I don't use those no more. I can't get this one out. Okay, so I feel it's a little too high. But you can trim that off. So give me a minute to get this one out. Yes, yeah, so I feel it a little too high, see? But you can trim that off. Take a thingy paper and sandpaper and get it off. It's just hard getting them out. Neat. Oh, look it. Well, that's okay. You know what? That's cool. The white ones floated to the top. The little pink. The yellow. And then there's some pink on the bottom. So that one turned out pretty good. Real good, as a matter of fact. Okay, so I like them all. It's a story of going so fast. You gotta quicken it up though when you're going a half an hour video so this one is actually surprising but now I know how to do this this is super cool that is awesome so I'm real happy with all of them except for this one yeah I know better now to lay a little black then a little white then do the swirling then lay more layers uh, so well, thank you guys for watching, and thanks for all my new subscribers. How you doing? And I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you all having a good Friday, and have a great weekend. I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye now.